Everything okay, Mr. C? Does everything look okay, Pi? I, I don't know. It's kind of dark in here. Dad? What's going on? What happened? My office. No. I have tried to be generous and understanding. I have tried to be tolerant. But Alexis, it's been over a month, and Pi is still here. I know, Dad. And he feels bad about it. We both do. I don't care if he feels bad. I want my couch back. I want my house back. You go back to college next week. What then, sweetheart? He has to go. You're absolutely right. He's been here way too long. It's not right, and it's not fair to you. Thank you. You're welcome. And the best news is, I think we found a place. Honey, that is so great. Did you say we found a place? Yeah. Pine, I talked it over. He can't afford a place on his own, so we found one together. Together? Yeah. That way, the rent's totally affordable. I can cover my half with a work-study job, and it's right next to school. Plus, it'll save you having to pay for university housing this year. You don't honestly think I'm gonna let you do this, do you? Let me? Dad, I'm 19. Exactly my point. Far too young to be moving in with someone. Really? Because I was old enough to sign the lease. And weren't you living with your girlfriend when you were 19? Yes, but that was different. How? Trust me, Dad. We've thought this through. Makes total sense. In what universe does that make sense? I'll tell you what universe. The one where she's blinded by emotion and not thinking straight. It's like watching a car accident in slow motion. You know, Castle, my dad wanted to kill the first guy that I moved in with. He did everything he could to try and talk me out of it. And all that did was make me want to do it even more. I suppose her future self would come back and talk to her present self, let her know what are the mistakes she's making. 